Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel English for Everyone. My name is CJ and today I'm gonna continue to read our story. Terrible story about women in black. Всем привет, добро пожаловать на мой YouTube канал Английский для всех. Друзья мои, сегодня мы продолжаем чтение нашей истории, нашей ужасной истории о женщине в черном. По традиции прошу вас поставьте лайк данному видео. Please press the like and subscribe on my channel. И подпишитесь на мой канал. Не буду долго томить, давайте приступать. Alice Drablo was Janet Humphrey's married sister. Nathaniel had been given the name Drablo. So the child Nathaniel Drablo had lived here, I thought, away from the mother who loved him. Translate. Переводим. Alice Drablo, Alice Drablo, was Janet Humphrey's married sister. Was, была, Janet Humphrey's married sister. Sister, сестрой. Кого, в данном случае, Janet Humphrey's. А какой она была сестрой? Married, замужней. Nathaniel had been given the name. Nathanielu было дано имя Drablo. So the child, так что ребенок, Nathaniel Drablo, Nathaniel Drablo, had lived here, жил здесь. I thought, я подумал, away, далеко, from the mother, от матери, who loved him, которая любила его. I thought for a few moments about Janet Humphrey and her sad life. Then I picked up the next paper. At that moment, Spider growled. The little dog was standing at the door. Every hair on her body was stiff with fear. Translate. I thought, я подумал, for a few moments. Некоторое время. About Janet Humphrey, or Janet Humphrey, and her sad life. Ее печальной жизни. Then, затем, I picked up я поднял, я взял the next paper, другую бумагу. At that moment, в тот момент, spider growled, spider прорычала. The little dog, маленькая собака, was standing, стояла at the door, у двери. Помним was и инговое окончание. Was, прошедшее время, инговое окончание указывает на то, что действие тогда, в тот момент, проистекало. Она стояла. Прямо в тот момент. Every hair, каждая волосинка, on her body, на ее теле, was stiff, торчала with fear, от страха. I sat there for a few moments, frozen with fright. Then I stood up. If this was a ghost, I must face it. I made myself walk to the door. I opened it. Spider rushed out of the room and up the stairs. I heard her run along the passage. She stopped. I knew she had stopped outside the locked door. Translate. I sat there for a few moments. Я просидел там некоторое время. Frozen with fright. Застывшим от испуга. Then I stood up. Затем я встал. If this was a ghost, если это был призрак, I must face it. Я должен встретиться с ним. Друзья мои, face to face, легко запомнить, фраза означает лицом к лицу. То есть to face можно перевести как встретиться. Есть глагол to meet, встречаться, и to face тоже будет встречаться. I must face it. Я должен встретиться с ним, то есть с призраком. Ghost. I made myself walk to the door. I made myself, я заставил себя walk, идти, to the door, к двери. I opened it, я открыл ее. Spider rushed out of the room. Spider rushed out, означает выбежала, 
В данном случае этот глагол означает то, что собака вот была настолько испугана, что она просто как выстрелила, знаете, вот из, вылетела из этой открытой двери. Spider rushed out. Spider выпрыгнула, выбежала, выстрелила of the room из комнаты. And up the stairs. И поднялась по ступенькам. I heard her run along the passage. Я слышал ее бег along вдоль the passage коридора. She stopped. Она остановилась. I knew. Я знал. She had stopped. Она остановилась outside. Снаружи the locked door. Запертой двери. I heard the sound again. I knew what I must do. I must open that door. There was an axe in the wood shed. I must get that axe. Translate. I heard the sound again. Я услышал звук снова. I knew what I must do. Я знал, что я должен был делать. I must open that door. Я должен открыть ту дверь. There was an axe. Там был топор. In the wood shed. В деревянном сарае. Wood shed – это деревянный сарай. Wood – деревянный. I must get that axe. Я должен взять тот топор. Taking my torch, I stepped outside the house. It was very dark, but I found the wood shed and the axe. As I was walking back, I heard the sound of the pony and trap. It came from the front of the house. Had Kikek come back for me? Translate. Taking my torch, Birya, мой факел, I stepped outside the house. Stepped outside, вышел из дома. It was very dark. Было очень темно. But I found the wood shed, но я нашел деревянный сарай, and the axe, и топор. As I was walking back, в тот момент, как я возвращался назад, I heard the sound, я услышал звук, of the pony, pony, and trap, и повозки. It came from the front of the house. It, то есть речь идет о звуке. Он, звук, came from the front, приближался from the front, спереди, of the house, дома, то есть передней части дома. Had Kikwik come back for me? Вернулся ли Kikwik за мной? Друзья мои, здесь видим вопросительное предложение, но в прошедшем времени. То есть ставим had, так как прошедшее время. Вернулся ли, да? Had come back. Had Kikwik. Вернулся ли Kikwik come back for me? No one was there. No one at all. I could still hear the pony and trap. But now the sound was coming from the marshers. I stood there, spider beside me. I was terribly afraid. Again, I heard the sound of the water and the mud. I heard the pony shriek. I heard the child's awful cry. And then, silence. Translate. No one was there. Никого там не было. No one at all. Никого совсем. I could still hear. Я все еще мог слышать. The pony and trap. Пони и повозку. But now, но сейчас, the sound, звук, was coming. Приближался from the marshers. От болот. I stood there. Я стоял там. Spider beside me. Spider возле меня. I was terribly afraid. Я был ужасно напуган. Again, снова. I heard the sounds. Я слышал звуки. Of the water, воды, and the mud. И грязи. I heard the pony shriek. Я 
слышал визги пони. I heard, я слышал, the child's, детский, awful, ужасный, cry, плач. And then, и затем, silence, тишина. 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 I was shaking now. My mouth was dry with fear. I had heard these sounds before. The pony and child was not alive. I knew this. A pony and trap and all the people in it had sunk beneath the water. Translate. I was shaking now. Я дрожал сейчас. My mouth, мой рот, was dry, был пересохшим, with fear, от страха. I had heard these sounds before. Я слышал, had heard. То есть неопределенное время. Речь идет о том, что слышал the sounds, звуки before, ранее, но нет конкретного точного времени. Когда? Год назад, час назад, два дня назад, месяц назад. Просто он говорит, ранее слышал. А это неопределенное. Значит, прошедшее время с использованием had и третьей формы глагола. I had heard the sounds before. The pony and child were not alive. Пони и ребенок were not, не были alive, живы. I knew this. Я знал это. A pony and trap, пони и повозка, and all the people, и все люди, in it, в ней, had sunk, утонули beneath, под the water, водой. Spider began to howl and howl. I put down the axe and the torch and picked up the little dog. I carried her in the house. She was afraid, and so was I. Translate. Spider began to howl and howl. Spider начала выть и выть. I put down the axe, я опустил топор, and the torch, и факел, and picked up, и взял, the little dog, маленькую собаку. I carried her, я занес ее, into the house, в дом. She was afraid, она была напугана, and so was I. И я тоже был. After a few moments, the dog jumped out of my arms. She ran upstairs, towards the locked door. I hurried outside, picked up the axe and torch, and followed her. Translate. After a few moments, через некоторое время, the dog jumped out, собака jumped out, спрыгнула, of my arms, с моих рук. She ran upstairs, она побежала наверх. Друзья мои, были вопросы, почему же собака все-таки иногда называется he и she. Я когда-то это говорил, но повторю. Когда животное какое-то абстрактное, либо вот просто мы видим, собака, либо кошка нам неизвестна, тогда мы говорим it, это средний род. Но когда это член семьи, либо, например, собака, к которой мы конкретно имеем какое-то отношение, в данном случае эта собака осталась с ним, и он с ней находится рядом, они друг другу, скажем так, помогают и поддерживают. И в данном случае это уже что-то большее, чем средний род, это уже как член семьи, как помощник. Поэтому животное можно назвать she, либо hey. She ran upstairs. Она побежала наверх. Towards the locked door. К запертой двери. I hurried outside. Я поспешил на улицу. Picked up the axe. Поднял топор. And torch. И факел. And followed her. И последовал за ней. The sound was louder now. When I reached the door, I saw why. The door of the locked room was open. Wide open. I thought I was going to die of fear. The dog ran inside the room. The bumping sound went on. And now I remember it. I knew what the sound was. Translate. The sound was louder now. Звук был громче сейчас. When I reached, когда я достиг, 
когда я подошел, пришел the door, к двери, I saw why. Я увидел почему. The door, дверь of the locked room, запертой комнаты, was open, была открыта. Wide open, широко открыта. I thought, я подумал, I was going to die of fear. Я умру от страха. The dog ran inside the room. Собака побежала внутрь комнаты. The bumping sound went on. Грохочущий звук продолжался. And now I remember it. И сейчас я вспомнил. I knew what this sound was. Я знал, чем был звук. When I was a child, my mother had a rocking chair. Sometimes I couldn't sleep. Then my mother held me in her arms. She sat in the chair and rocked me back and forwards. That was the sound made by the rocking chair on the floor. Translate. When I was a child, когда я был ребенком, my mother, моя мама, had rocking chair, имела кресло-качалку. Sometimes, иногда, I couldn't sleep, я не мог заснуть. Then, тогда, my mother, моя мама, held me in her arms, держала меня на ее руках. She sat, она сидела, in the chair, в кресле, and rocked me. И качала меня back and forwards. Назад и вперед. That was the sound. То был звук made by rocking chair. Происходящий, производящий, делающийся by the rocking chair. Креслом-качалкой. On the floor. На полу. I was no longer afraid. The sound meant peace and rest. There was evil in that room. I knew that. But it had gone away. Translate. I was no longer afraid. Я долго не боялся. The sound meant peace and rest. Звук означал мир и спокойствие. There was evil in that room. Там было зло в той комнате. I knew that. Я знал это. But, но, it had gone away. Оно исчезло. Оно ушло. Оно покинуло данную комнату. But it had gone away. Perhaps it was my happy thoughts. They had driven the evil away from that place. Holding the torch in front of me, I walked into the room. I pressed the light switch. Nothing happened. But my torch was powerful. I shone the bright torch round the room. Translate. Perhaps, возможно, it was my happy thoughts. Это были мои счастливые воспоминания. They had driven the evil away from that place. Друзья мои, driven away был изгнан. They had driven the evil away. Зло было изгнано from that place, из того места. Holding, держа, the torch, факел, in front of me, передо мной, I walked into the room. Я вошел внутрь комнаты. I pressed the light switch. Я нажал выключатель света. Nothing happened. Ничего не произошло. But my torch, но мой факел, was powerful, был мощным. I shone the bright torch round the room. В данном случае переводится как бы я осветил. I shone the bright, я осветил torch, факелом round the room, всю комнату. The room had been a child's bedroom. There was a small bed in one corner. A tall rocking chair 
stood in front of the fireplace. The chair was rocking gently. The room had been a child's bedroom. Комната была детской спальней. There was, там была a small bed, маленькая кровать, in one corner, в одном углу. A tall rocking chair, высокая кресло-качалка, stood, стояла in front of the fireplace, перед камином. The chair, кресло, was rocking gently, мягко качалось. But there was no one there. The room was empty. No one had passed me in the passage. There was no other door. I shone my torch at the window. It was shut. There were two wooden bars across it. The chair stopped moving. There was completely silence. Translate. But there was no one there. Not там. Не было никого. Their room, комната, was empty, была пустой. No one had passed me, никто не проходил мимо меня, in the passage, в коридоре. There was no other door, там не было другой двери. I shone my torch, я посветил моим факелом at the window, на окно. It was shut. Оно было закрыто. There were two wooden bars. Там было два деревянных bars. Это, как сказать, балки. Ну, вот эти палки, которые крест-накрест, либо могут одной палкой закрыть окно. Across it. Через окно. То есть речь идет о том, что вот крест-накрест были две балки. There were two wooden bars across it. The chair stopped moving. Кресло перестало двигаться. There was completely silence. Там была полная тишина. The little room was clean and tidy. There were sheets and pillows on the bed. I opened a chest and a cupboards. They were both full of clothes. Clothes for a boy of six or seven. The clothes were beautifully made, but they were old-fashioned clothes, clothes of sixty years ago. Translate. The little room was clean, маленькая комната была чистая, and tidy, и опрятная. There were sheets, там были простыни, and pillows, и подушки, on the bed, на кровати. I opened a chest, я открыл сундук, and a cupboard, и шкаф. They were both, они оба, были, full of clothes, наполненные одеждами. Clothes for a boy, одеждами для мальчика, of six or seven, шести либо семи лет. The clothes, одеждами, were beautifully made, которые были прекрасно сделаны. But they were old, Fashioned clothes. Но они были старомодными одеждами. Old fashioned – старомодные. Clothes – одеждами of 60 years ago. 60-летней давности. The room was full of children's toys. They were neat and tidy. There was no dust on them at all. I saw toy soldiers. And a sailing ship. There were games, paints, and books. All things that little boys love. Translate. The room was full of children's toys. Комната была наполнена детскими игрушками. They were neat and tidy. Они были опрятными и аккуратными. There was... Там не было no dust, пыли, on them, на них, at all, совсем. I saw, я увидел, toy soldiers, игрушечных солдатиков, and a sailing ship, и парусный корабль. There were games, там были игры, paints, краски, and books, 
и книги. All things – все вещи that little boys love, которые любят маленькие мальчики. They had been here for 60 years, but everything was neat, tidy and clean. There was nothing frightening in this room. Only a feeling of sadness. A feeling of something lost, I felt sad. Very sad. Translate. They had been here, они были здесь, for 60 years, на протяжении 60 лет. But everything was neat, tidy and clean. Но все было опрятным, аккуратным и чистым. There was nothing frightened in this room. Там не было ничего пугающего в этой комнате. Only a feeling of sadness. Только чувство печали. A feeling of something lost. Чувство какой-то потери. I felt sad. Я почувствовал печально. Very sad. Очень печально. I went slowly out of the room. Spider followed, and I closed the door. I felt too tired to do any more work. I had a hot drink and went upstairs. The door to the child's bedroom was still closed. Everything was quiet. I went into my bedroom and closed the door. Translate. I went slowly, я медленно вышел, of the room, из комнаты. Went out, это фразовый глагол, выходить. Spider followed, spider последовала, то есть речь идет за мной. And I closed the door, и я закрыл дверь. I felt too tired, и я чувствовал себя таким уставшим, to do any more work, чтобы делать какую-нибудь еще работу. I had a hot drink, я сделал себе горячий напиток, and went upstairs, и пошел наверх. The door, дверь, to the child's bedroom, в спальню ребенка, was still closed, была все еще закрыта. Everything was quiet, все было тихим. I went into my bedroom, я зашел внутрь моей спальни, and closed the door. И закрыл дверь. Итак, дорогие друзья, закончили мы данную главу. Девятая глава была большая, поэтому я ее разделил на две части. Сейчас я вам полностью ее прочитаю для того, чтобы проработать все на ваш слух. Перемотали. Элис Драбло was Janet Humphreys' married sister. Nathaniel had been given the name Drablo. So the child Nathaniel Drablo had lived here. I thought away from the mother who loved him. I thought for a few moments about Janet Humphrey and her sad life. Then I picked up the next paper. At that moment, Spider growled. The little dog was standing at the door. Every hair on her body was stiff with fear. I sat there for a few moments, frozen with fright. Then I stood up. If this was a ghost, I must face it. I made myself walk to the door. I opened it. Spider rushed out of the room and up the stairs. I heard her run along the passage. She stopped. I knew she had stopped outside the locked door. I heard the sound again. I knew what I must do. I must open the door. There was an X. In the wood shed, I must get that axe. Taking my torch, I stepped outside the house. It was very dark, but I found the wood shed and the axe. As I was walking back, 
I heard the sound of the pony and trap. It came from the front of the house. Had Kikwik come back for me? No one was there. No one at all. I could still hear the pony and trap. But now the sound was coming from the marshes. I stood there, spider beside me. I was terribly afraid. Again, I heard the sound of the water and the mud. I heard the pony shriek. I heard the child's awful cry. And then, silence. I was shaking now. My mouth was dry with fear. I had heard these sounds before. The pony and child were not alive. I knew this. A pony and a trap and all the people in it had sunk beneath the water. Spider began to howl and howl. I put down the axe and the torch and picked up the little dog. I carried her into the house. She was afraid, and so was I. After a few moments, the dog jumped out of my arms. She ran upstairs, towards the locked door. I hurried outside, picked up the axe and torch, and followed her. The sound was louder now. When I reached the door, I saw why. The door of the locked room was open, wide open. I thought I was going to die of fear. The dog ran outside the room. The bumping sound went on. And now I remember it. I knew what the sound was. When I was a child, my mother had a rocking chair. Sometimes I couldn't sleep. Then my mother held me in her arms. She sat in the chair and rocked me back and forwards. That was the sound made by a rocking chair on the floor. I was no longer afraid. The sound meant peace and rest. There was evil in that room. I knew that, but it had gone away. Perhaps it was my happy thoughts. They had driven the evil away from that place. Holding the torch in front of me, I walked into the room. I pressed the light switch. Nothing happened, but my torch was powerful. I shone the bright torch round the room. The room had been a child's bedroom. There was a small bed in one corner. A tall rocking chair stood in front of the fireplace. The chair was rocking gently. But there was no one there. The room was empty. No one had passed me in the passage. There was no other door. I shone my torch at the window. It was shut. There were two wooden bars across it. The chair stopped moving. There was completely silence. The little room was clean and tidy. There were sheets and pillows on the bed. I opened a chest and a cupboard. They were both full of clothes. Clothes for a boy of six or seven. The clothes were beautifully made. But they were old-fashioned clothes. Clothes of sixty years ago. The room was full of children's toys. They were neat and tidy. There was no dust on them at all. I saw toy soldiers and a sailing ship. There were games, paints, and books. 
all things that little boys love. They had been here for sixty years, but everything was neat, tidy, and clean. There was nothing frightening in this room, only a feeling of sadness, a feeling of something lost, I felt sad, very sad. I went slowly out of the room, spider followed, and I closed the door. I felt too tired to do any more work. I had a hot drink and went upstairs. The door to the child's bedroom was still closed. Everything was quiet. I went into my bedroom and closed the door. Ну что, дорогие друзья, мы с вами прочитали эту девятую главу. Я надеюсь, вам понравился данный урок. Поставьте лайк этому видео. Пожалуйста, напишите комментарий, что думаете по поводу этого урока. Попадались ли вам новые словосочетания, возможно, слова. Был рад поработать для вас, почитать данную увлекательную и немного щекотливую историю. Друзья мои, подписывайтесь на канал, если вы этого еще не сделали. И как всегда, be happy, be intelligent, be free, be alive. See you soon. See you tomorrow. See you next time. Bye-bye, my friends. And thank you, God, for this opportunity.